Recently, ByteDance released two models called Infinite U, Flux V1.0, for keeping face consistency in Flux image generation. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Infinite U with Flux, so let's get started. The commands and the links I am using is in description, so the first step we need to install Insight Face in Comfuey. Let's see how we are going to do that. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we can see a lot of Insight Face installation packages. Let's choose the right Insight Face for Comfy UI, which depends on the Python version of Comfy UI. Right now, Comfy UI uses Python 3.12, so we need to download the file called Insight Face 0.7.3cp312cp312 win AMD64. Let's click on that link. Click on that download buttons and wait for a while. A save window will pop up or the download will get started. Because I already downloaded it, I will cancel this one, but you should definitely download it. Let's close this browser and open the downloads folder. In here, let's open the Comfy UI portable folder in a new window, then open the folder called Python Embedded. After that, right-click in any empty space and open a PowerShell window or terminal. Use Shift plus right-click for opening PowerShell. So I am going to use PowerShell, also you can use the terminal. After opening PowerShell, type dot forward slash Python exe space hyphen m pip install. Then either drag and drop the Insight Face installation package inside PowerShell or just manually type the file path of the Insight Face installation package and then press enter. Here it shows I already installed Insight Face. Anyway, if you don't have Insight Face in your comfy UI, don't forget to install it. Now let's close the PowerShell by typing exit and pressing enter. Next, we need to install a custom node pack in comfy UI called comfy UI Infinite U. For that, run this command inside the custom nodes folder of comfy UI. Let's see how we are going to do that. Open the comfy UI portable folder. From here, open the comfy UI folder then open the custom nodes folder, and then open a PowerShell window or terminal in here. And then type or paste the command and press enter. Make sure you have Git on your computer. If you don't have one, the download link is in the description. Next, we need to change the working directory of terminal to newly created folder called comfy UI hyphen infinite U. So type CD, then type comfy hyphen infinite U and then press enter. Next, we need to install the requirements for infinite U by using this command inside terminal. Let's copy and paste this command inside terminal and press enter. That was fast because I already had the requirements for infinite U. Now let's move on to the next step, downloading control net models and the image projection files. Let's open this link in the browser. As you can see here, we got two control net models, which has some differences. When talking about the differences, the AES Stage 2 Control Net Model provides higher text image alignment and enhanced aesthetics, and the Sim Stage 1 Control Net Model provides higher face similarity. So I suggest trying both models. Let's see what the files are that we need to download. Open the AES Stage 2 Control Net folder. Here we need to download two files. One is AES Stage 2 Control.Safatensors, and other one is AES Stage 2 ImgProj.bin. Now let's go back to the parent folder. Let's open Sim Stage 1 Control Net folder. Also in here, we need to download two files. One is Sim Stage 1 Control Net dot Safatensors, and the other one is Sim Stage 1 Imgproj dot bin. After the download, let's see where we need to put those files in Comfy UI. Open the Downloads folder. Then first select the file called AES Stage 2 Control dot Safatensors, and then select Sim Stage 1 Control Net dot Safatensors and cut the files using Control plus X. Then open the Comfy UI Portable folder. Again, open the Comfy UI folder, then open the Models folder, and then find folder called ControlNet. Open it and paste the files using Control plus V. Then go back to the Downloads folder, select both AES Stage 2 Image Proj.bin and Sim Stage 1 Image Proj.bin and cut it. Then again, open the Comfy UI Portable folder. Again, open the Comfy UI folder and again, open the Models folder. Create a new folder called Inf U and open that folder, paste the files. Next step, we need to download Antelope V2 which will be downloaded automatically when you run the custom nodes for the first time. If it does not work, don't worry, open the link in the browser, download the file called antelope v2.zip. After finishing the download, close the browser and open the downloads folder. Extract the antelope v2.zip file using 7-zip or any other archive extractor. After extraction, open the antelope v2 folder and make sure the files are extracted properly. Then go back to the parent folder, select the extracted folder and cut it, then open the comfy UI portable folder. Again, open the Comfy UI folder, then open the Models folder. Here, create a folder called Insight Face, then open that folder. Then create another folder called Models. Open that folder, then paste the files. After that, make sure your folder structure looks like mine. Next, let's close this window. Oops, sorry, the next step is to launch Comfy UI, so let's do it. 
Again, open the Comfy UI portable folder, then run the bat file called run underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU dot bat. Here we go. First, let's open a simple workflow for Flux One devs. Let's close the other workflow tab and let's minimize the sidebar. And here I am using a Flux One Dev FP8 model. In case sampler, the sampler I am using is Euler and the scheduler I am using is simple. So let's see how we are going to use Infinite U with Flux. Double click in any empty space and search for Infinite U Apply. Here it is. Let's click on it. First, let's connect the conditioning output of the positive prompt to the positive input of the Infinite U Apply. Next, connect the conditioning of the negative prompt to the input negative of Infinite U Apply. Next, connect the output positive of Infinite U Apply to the input positive of K Sampler. Then connect the output negative of infinite you apply to the input negative of K sampler. Next in infinite you apply node, click and drag from the dot of the infuse net. A list will pop up, select the control net loader. A new node will be added. In the control net name, we can choose what infinite you model should be used in image generation. Right now I am going to use AES stage two, so let's select it. And also make sure you select the appropriate image projection file in the proj model name. Because we are using the AES stage two model, we should use the AES stage two image proj.bin. Next, click and drag from the face analysis option and choose infinite U insight face loader and a new node will come up. Here we will use the default provider option and then click and drag from the ref image option, choose the load image option. Using this node, we can select what face we should use in image generation. Let's select an image. Well, I am going to use this photo. Let's move this node so that we can see the load control net model node. And then we need to connect the VAE of the load VAE node to the input VAE of infinite you apply. Now coming to the options of infinite you apply, the strength option decides how much the infinite you should affect the image generation. And the start percent and end percent decide when the control net should start affecting the image generation and when it should stop. For now, let's keep the default values. Coming to the positive prompt, I am going to use a simple prompt text, which is a 16-year-old girl wearing glass and a hat. Now let's check if everything is correct. Now let's generate an image. Click on the run button and wait until the generation completes. The generation has finished. Let's open this image in a new tab. As you can see here, it is a good result. Now let's try another infinite U model called Sim Stage 1. Close the tab and go back to the comfy UI. In the load control net model node, choose the sim stage one control net dot tensors, and also select the appropriate image projection file in the infinite you apply node. For sim stage one, choose the sim stage one image proj dot bin. After the changes, click on run to create a new image. The generation has finished. Let's open the image in a new tab. As you can see here, the similarity got better, but the image generation is not well aligned with the prompt we provided especially she is not wearing any glasses, so that is the problem with Sim Stage 1, it is well suited for higher face similarity image generation. For better text image alignment, I recommend using AES Stage 2 control net. Although we can improve the results of Sim Stage 1 by adjusting values of strength, start percent and end percent of infinite you apply, but it will also affect the face similarity. All I can say is run some experiments on these values and find out the right values according to your needs. Moving on, you should know that right now, Infinite U models come under a non-commercial license, and the license also affects the generated images, and also in some tests there was a problem with hands, which can be solved with another generation. Well, that's it guys, thanks for watching, see you soon with another video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.